the case of sheer spring catar who developed steroid glaucoma at the age of 17 years microtrach filtration was done in this case in both the eyes uh, you see the film in one eye the film is at half speed look at the allergic masses at the limbus and i am checking for the mobility of the conjunctiva which is important because for microtrach filtration the conjunctiva has to be moved up to the limbus so the mobility is quite good and you can see the masses at the limbus so here we are going to use a blunt sapphire knife sapphire knife you have to have a crystal knife you cannot use a metal device because that will short circuit so this is 200 micron fugo blade tip and we have gone inside two times it was used at highest energy so we will get a track of 300 micron plus both the times now we have to do peripheral aridectomy and in this case we have to go through the allergic masses through the cornea into the anterior chamber using a trifacet 1.5 mm wide knife it's not going to injure the iris because uh, of the softness of the eye there has to be some resistance before a diamond knife will cut so pupil is contracted with myotic and we are going to do peripheral aridectomy through this 1.5 mm incision vertical incision a head of anterior to the two tracks that we just made so you cut the iris and you wash the anterior chamber to remove any pigment or blood or anything So very nicely done. The anterior chamber is being washed, and then we have to put air into the anterior chamber. There goes the air. So to treat severe spring catar at the same time, I am going to inject triamcinolone. Half milligram per ml. Half milligram per ml. This is fugo blade, hundred micron tip, making an opening in the conjunctiva. We are not using the needle directly because that will lead to bleeding. So this opening with fugo blade doesn't cause any bleeding, and we use a cannula, thin cannula, to inject. Prime cinnamone, cinnamone. Uh, we call it canacord, half milligram per ml. Making another opening and injecting more of canacord. And in a month's time, these masses will disappear. Then we will have this patient desensitized. Now this picture. is after two days and the patient goes home today